today we have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Robert Vallis from Signature Resources. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. Thank you. And, you know, I know I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for saying this, but how is my favorite gold resource company? How are you doing? We love the news release on February the 9th, so why don't we start there? Certainly. I uh, well, appreciate the fact uh, you support and, and enjoy uh, our progress. We uh, have been working very uh, uh, diligently, as you know, and, and most of our uh, shareholders in the street understands so over the last year, uh, climbing a mountain, basically getting the company positioned, digging through and positioning all the historical data that, that we came into possession of, combining that with all the new data that we've collected, getting our exploration up and running, uh, getting the drills up, running, turning, delivering results, um, uh, strengthening our board to majority independence, strengthening our management team, raising the funds to do it. We've, we've hit all on all of those cylinders throughout 2021, and that's brought us into this year This and, and really what precipitated that February 9 uh, uh, press release. In, in a nutshell, all of that uh, data has culminated into a new awareness uh, that we have something more interesting and, and significant than, than we had initially thought. And really that was precipitated from uh, looking at this from a modern perspective in terms of resource. And uh, of course, right from surface, you think open pit, not underground. And of course that, that effort is what precipitated the results uh, and the decision you see in February 9. Okay, so for those of you out there that may not have seen this news release, Signature Resources announces acceleration of an initial uh, 43101 resource estimate. So again, you had you you looked you wanted to look at fresh eyes at previous results and uh, do a 43101. Is that correct? Uh, in part, yes. I mean, we did look at it through fresh eyes, but we needed the data to do it. So finally, having all of that data culminated in January of this year. Uh, we were able to really see and understand the extent and depth of, of what we have. And that compelled us in, in many ways to accelerate the development of the initial 43101 resource estimate from uh, later in this year, the end of this year to, to now, essentially. Yeah. Well, somebody else obviously enjoyed this news release because you did a private placement this year and it was substantially oversubscribed and that you just announced this in the last month. Can you tell us a little bit more about your private placement? Yeah, that was really to, to um, sure up our funds uh, as we move through this transitional period, cover the costs of, of developing this 43101 that, you know, is a pivotal, sorry, a pivotal uh, paradigm shift for us in terms of a strategy for this year. Um, so that, yeah, that was quite successful. We, we had an, uh, a lot of support from existing shareholders, a number of new shareholders come in as well. Um, so we're quite excited about that. Um, but more, more, I think, uh, importantly, it's, it's positioned us very well now to get through this transition period to towards the end of Q2, where we expect to be getting that initial resource estimate. And from that, it will uh, really provide a lot of guidance and, and uh, direction for us for the balance of 2022 in terms of what we're going to be doing. And of course, there may be some people at Investor Intel land going, okay, Signature Resources, uh, an exciting uh, gold exploration play. They may not be familiar with Lingman Lake. So can you give us a couple of compelling reasons why Lingman Lake should be on absolutely everybody's radar? Yeah, certainly. It, it, we hold a, an incredibly uh, diverse, large, and prospective land package, over 90% of the entire Lingman Lake greenstone belt. That's the geologic environment we expect and hope to find large-scale gold uh, deposition. Lingman Lake is squarely in there. Uh, it's a historical discovery from the 40s that uh, never really made it to, to production just from financial reasons back then and ended up going into stasis and, and frozen in time for almost 50 years. That's why you see today us picking up the ball on that. Uh, the fact that they had uh, uh, underground workings uh, started, they were well on their way to to moving to production with over 20,000 meters of historical drilling on top of what we've already drilled. Uh, it's to find a very uh, uh, robust, high-grade 
uh, gold system right at surface. And what's more interesting is that we know this is a orogenic or mesothermal deposit. These run kilometers deep, kilometers on strike, and we're only down and have it defined at 200 meters depth. Uh, so it's really the tip of an iceberg. We're expecting it to, to present itself to be uh, a, a much more exciting and, and robust system as we begin to, uh, to move forward uh, beginning with this resource estimation to really bring ourselves into the modern uh, format. So uh, with that, I think overall Lingman Lake represents um, an exciting uh, early stage, but a discovery that's well down the path, uh, obviously allowing us to get the initial resource out and developed. And from that, we're expecting a lot of um, exciting news to, to continue at Lingman Lake in terms of value generation, not only for what's in the ground, but for shareholders. Well, th Robert, thank you so much for joining us today. But before I let you go, for some people out there, they may be going, okay, there's an acceleration happening. Uh, what's the timeline for uh, anticipated uh, conclusion for your 43101? Uh, as mentioned earlier, it's going to be the, around the end of Q2, around the end of May, early June is when we anticipate having those results out the door. And uh, after that, based on market reaction and, and, and uh, the um, communication of those results, and, and uh, uh, we're, we're expecting that uh, the balance of 2022 will be pretty busy and exciting for us. Well, for those of you interested in more information on signature resources, go to this website. Robert, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.